Okay, guys, when we last left off, things were harsh. Um, they're still pretty harsh. Peyton is having a meltdown because he's really tired, but I had to choose to feed the baby first because immediately after he was born, I got a notification, if you don't feed him, we're gonna take him away. This game does not wait anymore. They don't play, even though it's a game to be played. So, uh, yeah, I had to choose to feed the baby first, and now we're gonna put the toddler to bed. Yes, I know you're tired, but so is he, and so is he, and so is everyone. Okay, uh, I can't seem to put Peyton to bed, so I'm just gonna have him put himself to bed. That's an option now. It's not letting me do it. I don't really know why. So, uh, I'm gonna have him put himself to bed, and then have her go to the bathroom, and then have her go to bed, and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then... When I get a free moment, I'm gonna, um, decorate a room for Tanner. Because we're just drowning in boys over here. Oh no, she's super red. Oh god. Okay, go to the bathroom. Just go to the bathroom. I know, I know. I'm sorry, okay? I'm clearly not equipped for this. God, we're only two kids in. Just two. And my life is falling apart. My life, not hers. Mine. Because I'm getting the stress for this. I'm good. Ugh. This is too hard. How do people do the 100 baby challenge? I can't even do two babies. Crazy. Stop talking to yourself. Just go to bed. You're so tired. And the baby's gonna be up any moment to cry again if we learned anything from last time. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to bed. Now. You know, you don't really need to wash your hands. Aw, oh, man, now the sink is dirty. Ah, uh, We need a maid. Yeah, we really do. We need a maid. Okay, I gotta... She has to paint more paintings so we can hire a maid. Because we need help. At least, like, so she doesn't have to worry about the hum front of things and just focus on the kids and the painting. I went ahead and fixed up Tanner's room, um, so basically an exact copy of Peyton's room. I just gotta decorate the walls and stuff, but uh, yeah, just, you know, a green version. I'm probably gonna do the same thing for all the kids, and then once they become older and develop their own personalities, then I'm gonna add, like, certain touches that more reflect who they are. I mean, that makes sense. You know, when, when you're kids, when you're babies and stuff, your parents decorate for you, but then when you grow up, you start to decorate yourself. So, I feel like that makes sense. And there he goes. But at least he was kind enough to wait until morning, so there's that. Oh, that crying sound will be the soundtrack to my life for a very long time. Probably forever. Yes, baby. Oh, Lord. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Um, I did the little change sim thing in the mirror and I fixed her up to make her look more like herself again because I was going nuts. And it's gonna be a long time before she could afford any exercise equipment. So, we'll just handle things that way for now. Ew. Oh. I'm so glad I had her pre-make some food before so she doesn't have to cook, she could just focus on eating. At least he didn't wake up angry. He doesn't look particularly happy, but he doesn't look particularly mad. Let's go feed the little monster. Oh my god, he wants he wants to throw a fit. But I mean, I know, like, I made him fussy, so... I really gotta work on his skills a little bit, because... If I get his stuff to at least three, it's gonna unlock additional traits when he ages up. Oh my god! Look what he did! I wasn't even in the kitchen, but look, he made this huge mess! <gasps> You little monster! Scheduled maid. 
<laughs> we need help. And there he goes. Wait, why is he crying? His diaper is not dirty. Ugh. Because he's probably all sad and lonely and wants attention. God, so needy. Babies are so needy. Yes, hello. Rock, rock, rock. Cuddle, cuddle. Kiss, kiss. Wait, what was that option? Shush? I'm gonna try shush. Shush! Meanwhile, you clean the sink and other things. Yes, thank you. Can we afford to pay him? Um, yeah, I think so. As long as it doesn't stay too long. Peyton, we can't talk to you right now. We have to deal with something else. What's the matter with you? Oh, uh, that's why. Did she just like throw? Dude, you know how to use the potty by now. Like, don't misbehave. Come on now. Thank you. Yes, okay. Ugh. Calm down. Okay. Thank you. Ugh. <gasps> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, no. Is he making a mess? He is. He's making a mess. I mean, I can't discipline his behavior until he's done being a messy little brat, so it's like, ugh. I have to let him finish so I can discipline him. Which sucks, because then I have to clean that up. Oh, look. She's doing it herself. Can you yell at him, please? No. Bad. Ugh, let's go finish the painting. Oh wait, no, it's done! Celtic Collector, yes! I'll deal with the mess and other things later. Ugh. If he was older, he could clean up his own mess. It's weird that, like, children in this game can make messes just like that, but are also capable of cleaning them up. <gasps> are you kidding me right now? You little monster! Oh, hell no! Don't you do that again! No! No, no, no! I should put you in a timeout! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What, why, why? Why would you do that? Put him in there! I'm trying to feed him! What is wrong with you? Oh. This is the one thing I really don't like about Sims. No, 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 don't let him- Ah! Stop it! Put him back! I'm trying to feed him! Don't listen to him asking to be let out! Literally, why? And of course, while she's heating the food up, he makes another frickin' mess. I'm gonna lose my mind. You are a monster. Cut that out. Now get in the high chair and eat your damn lunch. Ugh, the baby's crying. I will never be able to call over the new baby daddy because these two are just killing me. No. Do not ask her to let you out. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god, I can't. I cannot. 
I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. This is crazy. Finally. No, stop asking her to let you out. Eat your freaking food. What is the matter with you? Eat. Eat. Ugh. This is ridiculous. I spent like an hour and a half with just her taking him out and putting him in. Taking him out and putting him in. Interestingly enough, the new baby daddy called us to come over, but I was so frustrated with like having to feed him that I was like, no, just let me deal with this first. So now I'm going to invite him over. Hopefully he'll accept because he won't be mad that we were like, no. Honestly, this is like uber frustrating. Uber frustrating. I am so glad you're here. Would you please take the edge off of my life by sleeping with me? And, you know, putting another of these monsters inside of me. That would be great. Oh, she's finally wearing the right outfit. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why it's so difficult. Oh my god, he's cleaning up the mess! It's exactly what we wanted! And... Please... Oh no, she's not pregnant! Okay, hold on. Oh god, the toilet just broke again. Their life is a mess! Everything's a mess! Everything is awful! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it! Well? Yes! Oh my god! She might have an alien baby! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. This is awesome! Okay, no. No eating. The baby's crying. Go go fix whatever's wrong with him. There we go. Change dirty diaper. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. I just... I really hope it's gonna be a girl. Okay, so we have a regular baby. We have a vampire baby. And maybe now we'll also have an alien baby. This is kind of an unexpected sort of twist. I mean, I was just going to have her make babies. I wasn't necessarily trying for, like, babies that were particularly, you know, uh, supernatural. <laughs> but it's kind of cool. If she's going to have a collection of kids, she may as well have all the different kind of kids she could possibly have, right? This is great. Yeah. Yay. Okay, let's get this bad boy fixed. Yeah, I know, the bathroom is gross. Uh, good thing this is in the guest bath. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. I have to wake up Peyton. I mean, he's been going to bed late and sleeping late. That's probably not really good for a toddler. But honestly, she's just so dirty and so hungry. I'm kind of taking advantage of the silence to get some of her needs up. This whole no cheating thing is hard. I'm not used to it. I know, that doesn't say very good things about me, but meh, I don't care. And he's crying again because of course he is. What? What? She's so hungry. She's gonna die because of you. And then where will you go? The orphanage. Well, he's awake. What is that? What was that sound? What the heck? Oh wait, there's the repair person, finally. Finally! Dude, you said you were gonna come like two, three hours ago. I guess in that sense, this is really realistic. You hire a repair service and they don't get here until three friggin' hours later. Yes, it smells. Do you know why it smells? Because it's broken. <sighs> Whatever. Like, bye. You fixed it. You can leave now unless you want to clean it for us, too. Honestly. Guys, I what is she doing? She keeps farting, like, a lot. And he's furious. I know you're hungry. Just give me a second, will ya? Look, I'm going to pee in front of you, and then I'm going to feed you, okay? I promise. Let's go. Come on. I'm giving you food. Kimbo's 
Don't you want to eat? I know you're mad. I'm sorry. Look, I gave you a sandwich. Come on. Let's go eat now. I, I'm feeling very overwhelmed right now. Oh, well, of course he's still hungry because instead of eating, he threw his food on the freaking floor. I really can't handle this. Just eat your food. Just eat it. You're hungry. You have to eat. They're going to take you away from me. <sighs> yeah, fine. Come over. Maybe we'll get some of that Love Day stuff out of the way. Ugh, I'm so tired. Yes, look, they're excited about it. Right in front of the baby, too. Whatever. Let's go. Hot stuff. While the toddler is crying in there, and the baby is crying in there, we are going to get it on in here. Gotta celebrate Love Day. I am a horrible mother. Oh, hell no. Again? Why is it always pink? No, what day? Oh, please. Ugh. I mean, I'm glad she's leveling up, but this is ridiculous. Yes, it stinks. He needs a fresh diaper. Are you going to clean it? Or are you just going to stare at it? Oh, God. He's like, you know what? I can't deal with this. Bye. Yeah, I would leave too, dude. I really would. In fact, I want to. All the time now. Well, your needs would be better if you let me. I don't understand what it is. I can't see it. I don't see anything there to block. So if you guys have heard of this glitch where for some reason the adults can't put the toddlers to bed and you know how to fix it, let me know. Please eat your food. Please don't throw it on the floor. I'm gonna watch him. Oh, wow. So he doesn't eat. This is exactly why he's always hungry. Because when she tries to feed him, he just throws the food on the floor. Excellent. I love it. No wonder you're always hungry. Instead of eating, you throw your food on the floor, you little monster. Eat your food. Eat. Oh, thank God. Honestly, who has the strength? Oh my God! My Eva Corral is in again. Eat your food. Eat it. 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 Oh my god. I should let you starve. I should just let you starve. Fourth time is the charm, I hope. Just eat it. Please just eat the food. Eat the food. Eat the food. Eat the food. Oh, thank God. Please just finish eating it. I swear I cannot. I cannot. Oh God, he threw it on the floor again. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know what? I'm gonna leave him in there as a timeout. Because look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Good. I hope you do cry. Cry. That's right. Cry. Because this is what you get. Eat your freaking food. Don't throw it on the floor, you wasteful little monster. You're gonna stay in there and cry as long as you need. She's gonna do a flirty painting because apparently when they're in certain moods, they can do certain types of paintings. Like when she was playful, she did a playful painting. Now she's flirty, she can do a flirty painting. And they only come up when those certain moods come up. I don't know necessarily if that means anything in particular, 
But I do remember that when she did the playful painting is when she first started getting faint. So, maybe this will get her back on track? Oh my god, it's summer! Woohoo! Not that that means anything since she never leaves her house! <laughs> That's really sad. So I want to make sure before we have baby number three that this guy's aged up to a toddler. Because like I said before, I do not want screaming babies more than one. Oh my god, that's right. Look at his ears. <gasps> He's a vampire baby. I forgot. Look at his ears. They look so cool. They're like an elf ear. Oh, okay. Here, meet your brother. Maybe you guys can fight over that, uh, that toy. I know he started out a brunette, but I went ahead and made him a cute little blondie. Because, I mean, when I think of vampire, I think of, like, this scared of the sun, almost albino little baby. So, I went ahead and just made him, like, a cute little blondie. And I gave him glasses because it's like, oh, no, the sun hurts my eyes. I need glasses. So, at least that was the logic behind what I was doing. And honestly, he looks so cute. So cute. I love him. As of now, he's the favorite. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I can say that. I'm not, you know, the actual mother, so. <gasps> Celta Art Gallery? OMG! She made her first masterpiece! Yes! I can't believe that was a masterpiece, but I don't care. He wants to come over. But why? Okay. That's fine. I mean, maybe we can butter him up to be the next baby daddy? That would be cool. Okay, this is going very well so far. Um, his friendly levels are high enough, I think, that she can do flirting and stuff. So, I guess that's the key to it. Get the friendship high enough that flirting is then accepted or even encouraged. That was where I was making a mistake. I was just going hard and strong on the flirting. Look, I'm sitting next to you. I'm giving you attention. I'm watching you eat. Everything's okay. Oh, good. He's leaving. Okay, cut. <laughs> that means I didn't have to ask him to leave. Oh, my God. I know you're tired, but you have to finish eating first. I mean, I'll let you out. Fine. Okay, God. It's my fault. It really is. I gave him the fussy trait, and... Oh no! She passed out. Well... I guess that'll help her a little bit. I just need her to get a little bit more energy so she can feed the other one and put him to bed. Oh god, you guys. I'm failing at this. Oh, Eru. I'm sorry. And she has to go. And she's hungry. I mean, this is just... It's just... I, I don't know what to do. Oh, of course she wanted to labor now. Guys, what am I supposed to do? She passed out, but she's in labor? I don't know what to do. <laughs> God, what a flattering angle. Oh, man. Eru, get up. You have to have a baby. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I cannot. Okay, honey, it's okay. It's okay. Just have the baby. We have a crib, okay? Just go have the baby and, and feed it a little bit and then you can go to bed, I promise, okay? I promise. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh, thank God! Yes! Finally! Okay. Uh, what shall we name her? I'm going to go ahead and name her Stella because there's a possibility that she's an alien baby. And Stella means star. So, yep, I can't spell, but Stella it is. Oh. Oh, my 
Aww. Well, how do I know if she's an alien, though? <laughs> and of course, she's immediately crying, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and feed her real quick and then go to bed before we pass out on the floor again. Oh, she's okay. But why is he awake? No, no, no. No, 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 honey. You have to go to bed. Go to bed. He's too scared to sleep in a bed right now? Wait, why is he scared? Okay. Well, I was gonna end the episode here, but I guess I can't. So, I'm gonna follow him to the kitchen to eat chips to somehow alleviate his fears and uh, end the episode here. So, we have our next baby daddy all lined up, Mr. Mohawk. We have three babies so far. Regular baby, vampire baby, and maybe an alien baby. I'm not too sure. So we're just going to have to find out next time. But thank you for tuning in, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video because if you did, I would love it if you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I put out the next part of Eru Gets Pregnant. I do appreciate you guys sticking around with me so far. I hope you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying making it most of the time when I'm not losing my mind. <laughs> but I will see you next time. Bye!